I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my, my name. name. Here we are, January 1st, on a Monday, 2018. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. And I wanted to share something so valuable, something that may be the difference between success and failure to you as you set your new goals for 2018 and as you make these resolutions. 8%. 8% of people actually keep their New Year's resolution. It's a cited statistic. Are you going to be the 8%? Comfort killers are the 8%. We're the ones that didn't just set our goals today. All right, we've had this in mind. It's a, it's a variation and a, and a carryation, and I'm making up big words right here, a carryation over into the new year. My 2017 goals, I didn't just scratch them off if I didn't make it. If I didn't create it, if I failed at it, I didn't just scratch them off the piece of paper. They are hey, I gotta carry them over. Maybe I, I didn't, I didn't get this plan together. I didn't get the target together that are able, that that are able me to carry this through. So what do we got here? We got a new year. We got a brand new freaking year. We got another chance to advance. Are you gonna be the eight percent? Are you gonna be the ninety-two percent that fail by February fifteenth? See, I just threw that date out there, but you know what? It's so hard, and I'm telling you this to tell you this to tell you that, that it's so hard to create discipline, to create discipline to follow through. If I spin this panorama version, this camera, right around, you'll see. Matter of fact, I'm going to do that for you guys. I'm going to pan this camera right around to my goal sheet. See, that's my goal sheet, and the red, the red on this, if you can't see what I wrote here, they're dates. And when you apply a date, a deadline, see, that's what I didn't do for 2017. I didn't apply a date to it. So obviously, I wasn't ready yet. So now you know what you need to do. Apply these dates and deadlines, the amount, quantify it. Because when it's quantifiable, then you, my friend, you, my comfort killer, can measure if you're actually taking the steps. See? If you just say, hey, listen, I just want to help more people this year. How, ma how many is more, right? And when are you trying to do that by? So when you formulate these goals, you formulate them, you know, I don't care if they're unrealistic, right? It's, it's actually better when they're so big that they scare the hell out of you. And, and it almost drives this sense, of, this sense of anxiety when you wake up, right? Because it's like, oh, my God, I got to get on task. I got to get on plan. I got to get these targets right. You know, so you have to and you must attach a deadline to them. Now I'm just looking at my goal here. It says by June 2018, I'm going to triple my income. Okay, these are quantifiable data. And if I miss it, if I miss the mark, I should be able to identify where I missed it, how I missed it. Predictability, my friend, if you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you just want to write a book, whatever it is, predictability. Where are you going to be? six months from now? Where are you going to be three months from now? Where are you going to be one month from now? What, how much of this project will be completed by July? You see, it, 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 take it out of just an ethereal space, uh, just an idea, right? And put it into these task generating action implementation on the paper and then actually do it. Now, the actually do it part is the reason why there's only 8%. Because people don't just do it. They write it down, they put the deadlines on it. It's, 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 I mean, it feels great because it's a new year. I love the fact that it's even on a Monday, right? That's even drives some more benefic uh, some beneficial um, value to me because, you know, Monday's fresh start, new year. So, wow, you got the double player here. So people don't actually do it. And the reason why people don't actually do it is because they haven't downsized it into bite-sized tasks. 
If you want to write a book, how many words do you want to write? If you want to write 20,000 words in your book, 20,000 words in your book is about 100 pages, right? I, I did that because I looked it up one time. I said, man, I want about 100 pages. I looked on Google. Google, became, Google became my friend. Google, how many pages roughly is... It's about 20 to 25,000 states. So I said, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to write this book. So if I give myself three months, you know, and let's, and let's use a banker's calendar. A banker's calendar is 360 days, okay? 360 days a year. Play, you, you're playing that there's only 30 days in a month. So let's do that. You either gain or lose some every month, but not by much, right? So I say, okay, there's 20,000 words in a 100-page book. Okay, I want to get that in three months. So I divide that by 90 days. That means every day, 223 words, 222 words, which is not a lot. You want to micro these big goals. Break them down. Break them down into weeks. Okay? Uh, and then you could actually do it because this is not scary. When you put on the paper, I got to complete 20,000 words and that's just it, then shit, it gets scary, right? You're like, where do I start? If you put, hey, today, I'm just going to write 222 words, less than a freaking, you could get four paragraphs, not even, you could probably get three paragraphs, 222 words, nothing. It's nothing. It's bite size. And then you accomplish that over a period of time, then you got your 20,000 words, baby. So it's January 1st. It's a big deal to most. Extra big deal to the comfort killers. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'm going to come through and I'm going to make sure I punch you in the face, okay? Because I believe 100% in self-improvement and personal development. No one out there is going to read the book for you. No one out there is going to start the company for you. No one out there is going to do the research that necessary to take you from point A to point B. No one's gonna handle your finances for you. No one's gonna make sure you have the accounts all right, make sure you have your numbers all right. No one's gonna do it for you. So that's what self-improvement is. That's what personal development is. Personal development is you taking the proper and necessary actions to do it yourself for yourself. Okay, there's, there's self-reliance here. There's discipline here. And I don't care if you started your goals today. You're a little behind, but I don't care, okay? I still congratulate you, but if you don't have goals on that piece of paper by the end of the day, end of business today, it's going to be a problem. Matter of fact, don't subscribe to the Comfort Killers. Don't. You are part of the 92%. I want nothing to do with you. But if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to get uncomfortable, me and you, we're best friends this entire year. 2018 is a powerful year for you. It is the year that you say, you know what, I'm going to stop mucking up. You know what, I might get up extra 30 minutes earlier and write those 222 words. I'm gonna do everything necessary I could do. I'm gonna collaborate and meet with like-minded individuals. I'm gonna cut off those that don't make any sense and does not serve my purpose or my goal. Hey, and some of you guys say, hey, stay. I don't even know what my purpose or goal is. And then at that point, I'm gonna come through, punch you in the face again, and I'm gonna say, hey, what do you love? What do you love? What do you love? And what could you do to turn it to make commerce? See, we live, in, we live in a world where it's easy, baby. It's easy. And don't let anyone tell you to give up on your goals. So if you wrote something down in 2017, carry that bitch through. Carry it over on this new blank piece of paper. But this time, create a plan. Because the sniper, being a sniper, doesn't begin with a shot. I am. Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time, subscribe. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my, my name. name.